So there are two value stocks that I'm personally watching in the month of May here, heading into the 1st of June in 2019, that I personally see potential in, especially as the stock market in general continues to get rocky, things are volatile, markets are volatile, and a lot of people are out certain out there. We've seen the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ over the past couple of weeks. These three indexes that I track for the U.S. stock markets, they've been getting pummeled, right? Take a look at the SPX. We hit all-time highs at $29.54. We're all the way down into the $2,700 range right now. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is creeping down into the low $25,000 level, almost heading into the $24,000 level right now. And the NASDAQ hit nearly $8,000 a couple of weeks ago, and now we're already at the low $7,000 range almost cracking into the $600 level in terms of this trend here potentially over the next couple of weeks. So during this time period, a lot of people are flooding their money out of growth stocks, out of quote unquote riskier investments, and they're putting their money into safer stocks. Maybe they're quote unquote value stocks, that's what they're considered. Maybe they're dividend aristocrats. They tend to not grow their earnings, tend to not grow their revenues as quick as some of these growth stocks, and they typically don't really fluctuate as much as these growth stocks, right? Which is why they're considered safe havens in terms of, you know, individual stocks for people out there in the stock market, right? Let's just take a look at some growth stocks very quickly to see how bad some of these have gotten. You know, you see Google here, it's fallen down a couple hundred dollars, Right, You see even Facebook here has fallen down a couple percentage points and they don't even have much exposure, any exposure at all in terms of China. Right, You see Amazon here has fallen down a bit over the past couple of weeks. Some other growth stocks, you know, Square has gotten crushed here over the past couple of weeks. We see Alibaba's have gotten absolutely torched. You know, these are some companies that People flood their money out of when things start hitting the fan, when uh, you know volatility starts to hit. Which brings me to these two that I'm personally watching, these two value stocks that are at decent dip buys right now that have overall been going up here over the past couple of weeks. Really these past... This past month, month and a half, where the stock, the stock market has been volatile. So the first one that I want to talk about is McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD. And just like I said, you know, over these past couple of weeks, ever since we've gotten pretty volatile in the stock market, McDonald's has been appreciating in price. We can see from 195 all the way up to around $201. That's about a $6 per share increase. And just in the past couple of days here, we've gotten the dip on McDonald's, which is opening up my eyes here for a potential swing trade. And in particular, it's been since the 22nd, 23rd of May, pretty much this past week, that where we've gotten, you know, this dip by in McDonald's. And judging on some technicals here on the 184 hour chart, we're noticing on McDonald's MCD is holding above the 180 simple moving average level of support here. This 180 SMA has been a support over the past couple of months in McDonald's. And in my opinion, if we do successfully hold and bounce on this level, this is going to be what I'm looking for in terms of a in terms of a confirmation for getting into McDonald's stock. We notice how the relative strength index, the RSI, is also very oversold. We know at this point that the RSI is pretty much telling us if there's a lot of pressure to the selling side or a lot of pressure to the buying side, and it helps assist our decision in when or not to buy a stock, right? So MCD at this point from 195-ish, 196 up to around 
200 and 201 or 201 dollars it offers around a 3 to 3.5 percent on a potential swing trade and guys please don't just buy this based on my personal opinion do your own research in no way am I saying McDonald's is going to bounce here in price no one knows what is going to happen I'm just simply Talking from experience here where a lot of people flock their money into these value stocks when, stock, uh, when, when the growth stocks and the overall market is under pressure. That's just me speaking from experience. And this could be a point in time where we do experience some of that, especially if we end up bouncing on this 180 SMA and holding in general the 193, 195 level on McDonald's stock. So let's say... On the on uh the worst case scenario here, or if things don't go my personal way and in the way I'm personally viewing things here, let's say we end up breaking these two levels of support, the 180 SMA and around 193, 194, and we start to trend to the lower 190s and get into the 180s. That's not going to be something that I'm interested in playing at that point. Things did not go the way I was expecting them, and I'm just going to simply move on to the next stock. But for now, we're noticing we're finding a nice support on the one day, one minute. If we look and see, we kind of have found a bottom, although we are noticing a resistance under the 180 SMA here. That would be ideal. A break out of this level here would be ideal for the reversal on McDonald's stock, as well as just judging on the 20 day, one hour. Actually, let's go to the five day, five minute. On the five day, five minute, ideally, I would like to see a break out of the 50 SMA as well which seems like right now in this live um, in the live charts, we're noticing it's slowly starting to do that. And let's say we start to trend upwards to the high 196s, maybe into the 197s. That could be a possible spot where I'm personally looking to take a position. So the next one I want to talk about is another one of these value stocks. It's considered a safe haven stock, and that's called Coca-Cola. You may know it. It comes in a red can. Diet Coke comes in a silver can. Their beverage company, right? This company is well known for their dividend. It's well known for their stability. And over the past couple of weeks here that the stock market's been getting weak, we notice how Coca-Cola has literally gone from $47 per share upwards of nearly $50 per share, where we ended up getting rejected by a resistance from back in the middle of February in 2019. And what this rejection did for us is it opened up roughly around a 2 to 2.5% margin of profit. And as of now, we're fighting to hold a higher low from the previous, to hold this little uptrend um, that we've had over the past couple of days intact. And this is actually not as um, attractive, I guess you can say, on a technical basis as McDonald's is. Because for Coca-Cola, we're noticing the brief break below the 50 SMA, but I'm still waiting to see if things shake out. I want to give it some time to see if we do end up holding this trend line. Because as of now, again, we broke that 50 SMA, but we're still at a level in terms of its price where we are at a higher low from the previous, although we have yet to confirm that bounce but for for me personally I'm waiting to see are we going to bounce are we going to bounce and break out of the 49 level of resistance and get back into this horizontal zone here from about 49 up to about 50 that is where I'm looking to capitalize on Coca-Cola stock and until we do get back into the $49 level. I'm not really looking to play this one. I'm just being patient, guys. And again, just because I'm talking about this, don't just go and buy it, guys. Strictly, you know, do your own research and buy what you understand and what you find uh, value in and what you think is going to do well in the short term and in the long term. In, my, in no way am I saying this one's going to bounce, but me personally, again, speaking from experience, 
I think there is some potential here, but I'm just waiting for the confirmation of the bounce. And if we're looking on some closer term charts very quickly, I would love to see, you know, a break out of these moving average resistances here on the five day, five minute, ideally up again, like I said, into the $49 level. Judging on, let's say the 10 day, 30 minute chart, we can see we are holding that trend line that I drew on the longer term chart. And I would just like to see the uh, definitive bounce here, a definitive push up to the 49 level. That would be pretty nice for me, pretty confirming for me to take a position. So these are just two stocks, guys, right now. Again, they are considered value stocks, safer than some of these growth stocks out there. Um, like, you know, a lot of the ones we talked about in the beginning, you know, the, the FANG stocks, you know, some of these smaller cap, you know, mid cap stocks. These two are considered uh, a lot safer than those, to be honest. And I'm personally watching them for the confirmations to get in on potential swing trades because a lot of you all know that I have not been swing trading recently. I've been just mostly day trading these volatility and market ETFs that do very well in times of volatility. So I am looking to hop into some quote unquote safer swing positions here. And these are two that I'm watching. So let me know down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about this? Are you watching Coca-Cola? Are you watching McDonald's? I would love to know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button as well and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I do make a video. I'll catch you all in the next video. I hope you all do well today. Peace out. So there are two values.